So as many of you guys know, the Nintendo Switch has actually been out for a minute. It was first released in 2017. We eventually got the Nintendo Switch Lite in 2019. And what I can tell you is, is that so far, man, this console has been a killer. And with the newly released PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S, I actually was able to pre-order the Xboxes. I wasn't able to get the PS5s. So hopefully I can get them in house soon. But with those Nintendo Switches, there has to be a point where Nintendo is going to upgrade their consoles. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get it this time around. Usually, historically, whenever there is a new Sony console, new Microsoft console, usually Nintendo does kind of go out and, you know, upgrade their own consoles too. Now, we saw this before with the Wii's and the Wii U's and the DS's, 3DS's, all those ones. With the Switch, it was a little bit different because the Wii U just wasn't, you know, doing as well in sales as, you know, other consoles were, especially compared to the Nintendo Wii. So Nintendo did a very smart thing and upgraded their Nintendo Switch. They eventually released a Switch Lite afterwards. And right now we are in the cusp of another upgrade opportunity, in my opinion. With the Nintendo Switch Lite, that was actually a very interesting thing because Nintendo can actually go and upgrade the standard Nintendo Switch, the original one, and then keep selling the Switch Lite and pretty much move on from there. And they can kind of seamlessly move from one console to the other, create some bigger discrepancies and kind of go from there. Now I created a ton of renders, you know, I actually created this 3D model of what the new Nintendo Switch Pro or Nintendo Switch 2, whatever they're going to call it, what it could potentially look like. And obviously it's not the best one, you know, it needs a little bit of work, but in my opinion, some things that they could do, first of all, is increase the screen size, remove a lot of the bezel around it. And I think that's going to be one thing they're really going to focus on. As I said before, you know, throughout the history of all devices, one of the biggest changes that a lot of manufacturers do, and one thing that gets consumers really, really hyped up, are visual changes. I remember when the PS5 came out and the Series X came out, people were looking at them and really they were just comparing the outside bodies and how a lot of people prefer the digital versions or even now with the Series S. A lot of people like visual changes compared to one console to the other. I will say on the flip side though, a lot of people are also happy about the internals and that's obviously you know a given. But with the Nintendo Switches, Nintendo is really just competing with themselves in this market. I mean, there's not a lot of huge gaming consoles that are portable slash, you know, hybrid consoles that can plug into a TV that are widely acceptable to have a huge gaming library. The only ones that come into mind are like Android gaming consoles with emulators. If I'm wrong, leave it down in the description, but that's one huge thing. So Nintendo just has to make it look different than the predecessor versus competition. So by decreasing the amount of bezel on the screen, that would be one thing they could immediately do that would make a lot of people happy in my opinion. On top of that, they could put a front facing camera on it. Now this may be like, you know, a little bit of a reach. I don't know if it's going to happen. It probably won't, but that would be a really cool thing if that were to happen. And honestly, I would love seeing that. I would never take photos on this thing, but even looking back at the Nintendo DSi, the 3DSs, all those things had front facing cameras and back facing cameras. The Nintendo Switch doesn't have either one of those. So it may be not important, it may be whatever, but that would also be another cool thing they could do. They could also go increase the battery sizes. That'd be a big one. But I think the biggest thing they can do in my opinion besides increasing the screen and all those things would be to fix those joy cons the joy cons have so many issues i've had nothing but issues on mine for a very long time so that would be another very important thing they could do go fix those joy cons address those issues and pretty much move on from there i think that would be a really awesome thing and i think a lot of people would find that super exciting and i can probably tell you 50,000 people who would really just switch from their current console to that one just based on that that is a very important thing and I really really hope they would go do something like that again I'm not too sure it's you know it's not guaranteed but that would be another very big thing and if those joy cons are compatible with the original Nintendo switch and the switch Lite, that would be another humongous asset for those consoles so those are just a couple things that we could see again I don't know when it's going to happen if I had to say it it might come you know next year early next year for like some sort of an announcement as the switch line keeps getting bigger and bigger I feel like Nintendo is going to have to do something they're still making a killing on these things and they're making more money off their games than they are their hardware but I guess we'll see what happens so that really pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then